uh, iOS developer at Homage, which is a on-demand home care service uh, startup. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna share uh, something about like how to make your app content, the private content of the app searchable through Spotlight. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, any, anyone uh, uses Spotlight for the app to search the content or something? Or uh, so many people using it. That's cool. Yeah, so there are like different modes of search for your apps. Uh, basically discovery, which is like uh, simply you search your app uh, going on the App Store or going from your uh, Spotlight. So you just type the name of the app and it searches, which is actually added by Apple default. Then rediscovery is like bringing back the user to your app, which is like, that's the most important part. Like app is searched by user, he uses it, but how to bring him back to the same app. Um, and then index back searching, which is like uh, used by most of the file systems and all. Uh, then user based searching, which is like, uh, user did some activity in your app, let's say user read the, uh, some sport news and uh, bring him back to the, uh, the sport news section of the app or something. So yeah, uh, we are going to discuss all um, these things in very short. <laughs> yeah, so basically uh, two frameworks uh, uh, can be used, uh, should be imported for uh, adding the spotlight search for your app. Uh, which is like core spotlight and mobile core services. Uh, it's very simple. Like if you see, we just create a, a searchable item attribute set, which is which contains the, all the searchable items uh, as a as a CS searchable item object. Uh, yeah, and we use the mobile core services uh, framework uh, to define as an identifier type. Like your content type is of uh, what type? Here we are using as a string. Uh, so yeah, you just set a title for it, a description for it, keywords. Keywords are the basically uh, text uh, used for your uh, indexing. Uh, thumbnail, you can add an image to it. Then uh, query string is ac actually a unique identifier for your search result. Uh, let's say you are you, you, you are searching for a room. So on a spotlight, you search like a room and many results come there. So each item has a unique. Uh, has a domain identifier and a query string. So query string is, is a unique ID for that item, and domain identifier is like a uh, is a is like a bundle ID or something package ID for for that particular group of searchable results. Uh, yeah. So simply uh, like few lines of code to add your searchable items. Uh, and yeah, uh, then you just add to the index searchable uh, function and, and uh, the, the API uh, itself add all those items to the for indexing. So basically how it works is like, let's say user search for something and uh, let me show you on my phone maybe. Much better. Yeah, let's say I search for Right. So it gives me options for different different apps here. Well, it didn't give me any option for Uber or Grab. Uh, too bad for them. But yeah, uh, let's say Yelp is there. So if I click Yelp, it will bring me to the Yelp app directly. So this is one of the uh, cool feature like app can use to bring back a user to their app. Yeah, this is a simple example. So when I tap, uh, yeah. So what basically happens is, is uh, this function of the app is called, which is, uh, I, I think you guys uh, most of the uh, time use when you um, bring the user from a universal link. So I assume like most of the most of you using universal links, uh, using branch or somewhere. But yeah, so this method is uh, called and. Here, actually, you can uh, take the action, uh, what exactly user uh, want to go to or what exactly you want to bring user to, which screen you want to bring user to. So this is simply uh, like few lines of code and you just add an index to, to your app. For example, for my app, uh, I added, added like a medication. So we provide like 
uh, home care services, which is one of the services is medication services. So if you search medication or Well, I'm not sure why it's not showing the app, but uh, yeah, so basically uh, it's supposed to show the app there and it will bring you to the specific sc screen in the app. Um, then another is user's best uh, search, which I, I talked about earlier, like uh, which particular screen you want to bring user to. Let's say uh, for a news game, you want to bring user to a uh, sport, sport section, let's say uh, they keep searching for this kind of uh, news, so definitely you want to uh, track those kind of activities of users and bring them to uh, that page again. So simply you can add uh, NS user activity object in your... Everyone can see it, right? Yeah, uh, very simple uh, to add an NS user activity uh, object uh, with your view controller. You can just create a, a, a object with a, a unique identifier. Uh, you can group it, let's say, uh, for our case, we have a schedule with these services. So we just group it with a, uh, uh, following the convention of the reverse DNS, like com uh, company name and that, uh, the group name. Um, you can define a title for it, then uh, el eligible for search. So basically, uh, users can uh, choose to off the indexing, uh, the, the search indexing. So you have to uh, put this variable as a true or false. And when user come back uh, from the search item to your activity or to your view controller, uh, you can also check like user has uh, uh, made it true or false. Yeah, then you can add, add several keywords which user gonna uh, search for or something. And then uh, you make that activity as a current activity of the user. Uh, which will actually uh, disable the previous activity whatever user was doing so this is a simple code to add a user activity uh, and yeah basically this is the one uh, we call when user uh, tap the activity result so this is the action you take so you search for the activity type for uh, simply adding an item, it, the, the type is uh, item action type, and the one we define ourselves, with the, the one we define with the unique identifier, you can just check with the unique, unique identifier uh, and just do the action what you want to do. Uh, and user info activity or user info will give you the information you actually pass through the, uh, the searchable item. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, when debugging, uh, you can when when you try to implement this uh, spotlight feature, you can just uh, delete the previous one because sometimes it cache and maybe you keep going to the previous uh, view controller. Sorry. So uh, you might want to delete the previous uh, cache. Uh, item and then uh, re-input re the items. Uh, then yeah, uh, of course, uh, please make a check for core Spotlight available because it's only available after iOS 9. Uh, and you can improve the ranking of your app uh, using like a navigation to phone call, uh, navigations and phone calls actions. Let's say you have a uh, social networking app, you can uh, uh, use the phone calls. Uh, or navig navigations and 
and it, it will actually one of the metrics used by Apple to to increase the ranking. Um, yeah, and uh, also keep your content current because let's say uh, most of the time you you update the app content in the app and and your previous contents is not content is not there. So definitely, uh, it is not going to search for your app anymore there. Or even if you search, uh, your user will not be uh, able to take the action what you wanted them to do. Uh, and don't spam the index. Let's say you, you just put like thousand or uh, you can. I'm not sure what's the limit for keywords there, but uh, yeah, def Apple will definitely find out like if you're putting like every single keywords there uh, to make it searchable, uh, and they will uh, rank you lower in the in, in the in the search. Um, and get to your content fast because uh, that part is uh, time. Let's say. Um, um, Searching for food or something. Yeah, again, uh, it shows me. Um, let's say, yeah. So, yeah, it should immediately bring me to this page. Uh, what some developers do is like they, they show an ad in between before the transition. So, uh, just to yeah capture the user ad event and all. Uh, so yeah, uh, Apple actually tracked that part, and as fast as you bring the user to the actual content, uh, your ranking for the searching goes up, and and your results will be at the top. So yeah, um, basically that's all about it. Uh, that's that's a very yeah simple thing about Core Spotlight, but you can use it to make your private content searchable, and uh, yeah, improve your in increase your user. Yep. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mitesh, for sharing. Uh, does anybody have any questions for her? No? Uh, okay. Uh, next up, we will have a quiz. So I